Hey guys, sorry to do this two videos in a row, but it has to be done. I have to say a huge, massive, incredible thank you to all of you for all the love and all the likes and all the subs and all the comments. We just hit 1,500 subs. We're almost at 1,600 already. My latest video got, wait, let me just check because it's been going up so many, so much. 146 likes, which is incredible so thank you to everybody that liked subbed commented and everything and thank you everybody for all the wonderful comments just so you know the first stream highlights video will be coming out tomorrow featuring my wonderful bear here with his little core hound that's going to be the first stream highlights video that's going to be coming out a normal time tomorrow instead of like the frost video or an iron man video we're going to do that instead so i hope you guys look forward to that it should be a lot of fun i love this build when i rolled it so i think you guys should enjoy it too and yeah, just thank you so much, guys, for all the support recently. It's been f***ing incredible. And remember, if you want to see more of me, everyday streams, live on Twitch, link down in the description, 3 p.m. server time. Hope to see you there. Anyway, let's get into the video. Hey there, just one more thing. Uh, I've been having lots of issues with recording at the moment. So in this video, we actually go from level 40 all the way to level 60. But the first half of my recording lots of it corrupted or it just wasn't really worth posting like i just got stuck like there was lots of stun lock backstabbers going around which just wrecked me because they could just kill me within one stun so yeah i'll, I'll include some of those ganks on me because with the amount that it happened it was pretty funny well for you guys it was for me it was enraging but yeah so that's why it, this video has done so much Next video should be a lot more interesting because we get to 66 and we can do our rerolls and stuff. But there's still that big question that's in the title. Should we go fire? Let me guys know what you think in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the video. Oh, we actually have a blood elf over there, but it's level 47. Maybe we can just group. Can one of you assholes drop the eye, please? I need Dizzy's eye back. I don't know what he's going to do with it, because it's not going to work if he puts it back in, but I still need it back. But why, though? <laughs> he did some big damage, but again, why, though? <laughs> also, when the fuck did I hit 41? I didn't even realize. Right. Oh! That guy just got obliterated. Why is there a level 20 Iron Man out here in STV? Oh, a trinket. And especially at this side of STV. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit, really? Come on. Okay, so I got kind of bored of trying to get the eye for a bit, so I thought I'd come and do all my other quests. And then I'll go back to getting the eye. I hate that this quest kind of broadcasts to everywhere where my position is right now. I kind of want to upgrade my gear so that, like, if we get into a fight, we'll do better, like we did before. But at the same time, I don't want to, because I feel like we're going to get into Outland pretty damn quick. And then there, our gear is just going to get better anyway, so I actually don't know what to do at the moment. Ah, so we do have a level 41 over there. Oh, that freeze. That rank 1 Frostbolt Freeze was actually fucking beautiful. Holy crap. I don't know what build that guy was, because he was in int spec, but he was using poison and daggers. I spared you and you do this? Sure. Okay. He can come back and kill me if he wants, I don't really care. We're about to ding here and get our next ability on the next Gorilla Kill. Here we go, boys. 42. Pyro? Interesting. We now have Fireball and Pyroblast. Interesting. Is army? Yeah, he is. Okay. What we'll do is we'll rank one him. And then we'll Roots. And we'll do this. Heal. 
I actually died to the gorillas. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, uh, if that gorilla wasn't there, we would have had him easy. But I, I'm taking that as a kill. Because he did technically die. We didn't necessarily get the killing blow, but we would have if that gorilla wasn't there. We actually got killed by the gorilla, so we didn't actually lose shit as well. But I'm taking that as a win. <laughs> anyway, back to Pyroblast. So we now have Fireball and Pyroblast. I, <laughs> um, intriguing. Oh, this double miss! Come on. Give me a frostbite proc instead of missing. Miss. I don't think it's possible to miss this much. Miss. 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 Miss! Holy shit, that was painful. Okay, so we need to go grab the eye and Smot's chest. I still, uh, I'm still very confused about Pyroblast. Like, does this mean we should go fire now? I guess if we get Scorched, then we could go fire. I just have to rent one Frost Bolts for Torment the Week and just a slow, because yeah, a slow is nice. So at the moment, I'd say we can go three ways. We can go the Frost way that we were originally gonna go. We can go fire build, or we could go hybrid. It's one of those three. Which is best? I don't know. What brings you here? Okay, 44, let's see it. Come on. Why? What a tr Why is this a 2AE? Seriously. Can we, can we just think about this? Farsight is a 2AE, but Eagle Eye is a 1AE. They do exactly the same thing. Please change it. There's literally no point in it. Okay, so now we're in Tanaris. Took a minute to run here, but it's fine. So there we go, 45. <clears throat> and we got the helmet. Okay, so let's get some levels. 15k. That's huge. Oh, maybe there's a fight here? 46. With a pot and an aura. Like, I don't want fights and stuff, but I'm not stupid. Oh well, this will put us to 46 at least, and we can see what we get. Let's see it. Thorns? I am seriously wondering if it would be worth me just leveling this fire. Oh shit. I was trying to be nice! Oh fuck off, man. Dude, that guy had so much fucking crit. It's unreal. That's really annoying though. I was trying to be nice and I was gonna ask- Okay, let's just do our original plan and go to the pirates, because that, that zone's being dominated by that group and apparently that guy. There you are. Fucking that. Okay.
why? But why though? What a dick. Okay, 48. A redemption. Eh, why don't sting? I guess it's usable. Yo. Nice, another CC. That we can use. Be good. Keep it real. Oh, actually, fuck off, man. Like, I'm so fucking sick of you. So fucking sick of you. Fuck you, idiot. Get the fuck out. Okay, so we're actually going to start off the rest of the video here in Angoro. This is where we're going to do the rest of the leveling up to 60, hopefully. And that is where we'll end the video properly. So, you saw everything that happened and why I didn't really want to upload that on its own. I wanted to take this a bit further now as there wasn't really much there. So let's try and get it to 60. Because if you guys didn't know, there is a boat that you can get that gives a decent amount of XP and then it has a hand in up here, which gives even more. And we have a talent point. Also, the question still remains, do we go frost build or do we go fire build? Oh yeah, I have a talent point open because of brain freeze. I completely forgot. Yeah, do we stay frost or do we go fire now that we have pyro? I guess it depends on our, f our other roles. The thing is, though, I can't reroll until 62. If we're going frost. Oh, demon skin. That's really nice. That's actually big. I am very happy with demon skin. That's a that's a great way to start off. Oh, yeah, so let's add my other things that I got. So we got thorns. We got wyvern. Wyvern could be used. In my favorite hotspot, please spawn. I want easy leveling, please. And now we can actually turn it into brain freeze, which is really nice because that's a huge amount of extra damage every now and again on our frost bolts because we get that instant fireball proc and it adds to our kiting damage. So if we're running and we get a proc of this, then we can just launch off a, a fireball. So actually quickly make a weak aura. New progress texture. There we go. And that should put a glow on the button, and then when I use it, the glow should go away. Yeah, there we go. So now if I use it on this... Nice, we got it perfectly. If I was to learn a bit more about weak auras and how they work, would you guys like a, like a tutorial video on how to make like simple weak auras for your different builds and specs and stuff like that? Would that be something that you'd be interested in? Okay, so I just went ahead and made one for Fingers of Frost as well. Let's have a look how that looks. If we get a proc. If it procs. There we go. There was the Fingers of Frost. If you kind of saw it there. That uh, double blue. But yeah, if you guys would be interested in a, like some sort of tutorial for weak auras and stuff, I'd be more than happy to try and learn some more about it. So that then I can give you guys some easy... Uh, we chorus to make such as uh, dot timers, proc windows, and stuff like that, and cooldown, like things that show cooldowns and stuff on your screen. Just let me know. There we go. Those are the fingers of frost. So for now, we're just gonna make our way up because I really want to get to sixty-two and roll for ice lance. Because the good thing about this is we can go in two directions at the moment. Either one of them I'd be happy with, but it just, you know. What one are we going to get? Also, more importantly, what one would you guys like to see? Like, I know we started off as Frost, but 
But if we get the chance to go full fire, should we? So I just realized that I missed a quest, so I'm having to go back and grab it. I'm having lots of issues with recordings and everything as well. Sorry if there's a bit of um, skipped frames or something like that. I don't know what is going on with my PC right now. It's just not happy. Also, to people that are asking me if I could upload in 1080p, if I could, I would, friend. If I could, I would. I like my PC isn't very strong, so it it kind of struggles when I'm recording at 1080. I can try maybe one day and we can see what it's like. It's crazy how much, how big the base damage of fireball is. Like my fireballs are actually hitting harder than my frost bolts right now. I gotta say, having the fireball has been really nice. Just that extra instant cast, even when just leveling, makes mob kills a lot faster. Nice. Fucking twat. Dude, what is it with this guy's flurry attacks? It's- these guys in raptors, look. They do- Oh! So much damage in one hit! They have this really weird flurry ability. Okay, I need one more of these Pterodax scales. Then we can move on from the Pterodax, because that's how you pronounce it. See, I believe that we can take this one out without missing one Frostbolt. Okay? We're not going to miss one Frostbolt. We're going to pretend that that Fireball that hit was a Frostbolt. Actually, almost 52 already. Which is nice. It's going to be our last ability for a while. Let's hope it's either Cone of Cold or something to push us into Fire Build. Okay, so like one more, one or two more mob kills and we get our last ability from Azeroth. Here we go. Let's see it. Mind Flay? Drain Mana. Eh. Like, when, when am I going to use it? I mean, maybe it would be good to like boom somebody in a group fight but for now eh, i can just go into the bar the bar of rerolls well that kind of sucks for our ending rolls in azeroth like we got lots of good stuff but then we have lots of trash like strength of earth isn't exactly trash but it's not what we need on a frost build unless we're going a hybrid which right now it doesn't look like we're gonna oh we actually got the rare in the silithid area down here clutch master Clutch Mother Zavax, or Zavix, something like that. Zavas. I was close, okay. A Wyvern Sting, the other one. We'll root her. Run away a bit. Oh, and we just got a prison run. I need to take this out first. There we go, guys. A neck from Marshall Morris, Ring of the Heavens. Oh, and now I lost the loot. Okay. Sounds good game. I just realized we got an aura in this group. That's really nice. I didn't even realize that we were getting big XP because of that. Thank you to whoever has the aura. If you watch my videos, you're a beautiful person. I like auras. We're gonna get big XP at the end of this dungeon. It's probably gonna put us to like 54-ish. Hey, so we go. Oh, we didn't quite get 54, but we were close. Oh, and our tank and our DPS can't do it anymore. That's a rip. Thanks to those guys, though. <gasps> yes! We got the Marshland Hotspot! Oh my god, we just got the easiest questing experience up to 60. Oh, thank fuck. You know what time it is. I actually got 55? Oh, I did get 54 in that other dungeon. Lol. This method is just so good. It's it's way better to do with a melee character than it is uh, a caster. But it's still good either way. Wait. <gasps> did they remove XP gain? They removed XP gain from the mobs! They fixed it! No! My strat! <laughs>
Well, the good thing is the place is filled with raptors anyway, so we can just farm our way through. But no, they fixed my strat. Was that even in the change logs? Or did they just silent fix that? Oh well. We got like a thousand other raptors in this zone. Why am I only getting 4k? Wait. The hotspot changed from a 300% to a 100%. Do you only get 100% hotspots over level 55? If you do, then that sucks. Yeah, look. They have a 300%. I think it's because I got level 55 and then came back in. Otherwise, I'd carry on getting the 300%. That's so weird. Kind of annoying as well. Why not just make it Outland that has 100% and everything else has uh, 300 Oh well, I guess we have to level legit. I can't believe they fixed it. I need to check the change logs, actually. Okay, we're on to our last quest of Angaro. Hopefully this should put us to like 49-ish. 49? 59. We have 57 right now, so I guess 59 would be... I think we'll get to 59. It'll be pretty close. Oh, those are some nice boots. Did I already hand in? Scott Ringo? Well, where the fuck is Ringo? Dude. He can't come inside. Oh, ascension bugs. Come on. Dude, he can't come inside. What am I supposed to do? Okay, we got 59, at least. Okay, so we're gonna head to... Actually, I think we're just gonna head to Outland right now. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna hearth back to Durata. The great thing about the first few um, quests in Outland is they're just easy hand-ins, so we might actually just get to 60 from these super quick easy hand-ins. If not, we have to kill like one or two mobs, but that's it. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we should just about ding here. If not, we have the bucket actually, so yeah, we for sure ding here. Perfect! What a great way to end the episode, and we're already in Outland, so next episode we can just jump straight into the murdering of Outland. There we go, level 60. And we're gonna pick Deep Freeze, because, you know, Deep Freeze is fucking awesome. And then the other one, like, I would go with Water Elemental, but the thing is, we have no stun, we have no interrupt. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Shadow Fury, just because it's like a quick, easy interrupt, because I can't get silence. So I think we grab Shadow Fury. Yeah, let's make this our trick-or-treat first, then make this in my home. And there we go, guys. We're in Outland. Easy as that. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, if we should go full frost or fire or what we should do at this point and everything like that. If you enjoyed, then hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you guys once again so much for the 1,500 subs. That's mad. We're almost at 1,600 already, which is fucking crazy. So thank you so, so, so much. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video.